Okay, this is the Game is On 100 here with the video, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bears. Will they use the NFL's disrespect of them to win this season? Uh, let's get started. I was uh, searching around for a few things on the Bears, and I came across this uh, story that uh, that the Bears might use the NFL's disrespect to win this season. I will post a link in the description box for you guys to have a look at this article. But from from my understanding, um, at the Bears, I know how the Bears are. Because normally whenever the NFL season goes on, they normally pit the Bears are normally the underdogs against the other teams. They don't normally pit the Bears to win. But I feel that this year the Bears always goes in with the, with the mentality of them saying it's us against them. They always figure they are the underdogs and that's what they casterate castrate themselves as the as the underdogs against the other teams as we all know about the nfl's top 100 players list that got uh, released already and we all know there are five chicago bears on the list but we all know that it's the list based by the nfl players so in that regard I don't understand why they had, um, like I said before in my previous video, why did they have Team Tim, Tim Tebow on NFL's top 100 players list? He shouldn't even be on the list. Some of the other quarterbacks that didn't get on there is uh, uh, the Atlanta Falcons quarterback. He didn't get on the list. Jay Cutler didn't get on the list. I know there is uh, there's a few other players of quarterbacks that didn't get on the list, but they should have been over Tim Tebow. That just pisses me off right there. And, of course, for Brandon Marshall, he should have been on the list this year too, but he got overlooked, which is why I'm pissed at. But overall, basically... That the Bears has a good team. I know they're all saying about the Bears offensive line. I know what you guys are saying about the Bears offensive line. They're saying that the Bears offensive line is not that good. Well, the Bears offensive line did not make progress last year. They ran the ball a lot. They gained over 2,000 yards as a team rushing the ball. The Bears haven't done that in like in over 20 damn years. The last time when they ran for that many yards was with uh, Neil Anderson was on the Bears at that time when he, when the Bears were rushing for that yardage at that time as a team. So, so basically, that they don't know who's going to be, who's going to win the uh, left tackle position. He's either going to be Chris Williams or Jamarcus Webb will be the one of the two that's going to win the job. We don't know what's going to happen. We have to wait until for the preseason games to come and see what the Bears go from there. But otherwise, the Bears this year are, are going to probably use the thing that they're getting the disrespect to go force them into having a good season and try to get to the Super Bowl this year. Uh, Brian Urlacher and Lance Briggs believe the team is ready right now. Ever since the Bears were defeated back in 2007 in the Super Bowl, Erlacher and Bray says this is a good team that can get them there again. The Bears only has nothing but has uh, good hopes for this year, but they're all saying about the Bears offensive line, the Bears defense getting one year older. Well, the Bears defense will be fine. As long as there is a pass rush, the Bears secondary will be all right. As long as they get to the quarterback, the Bears will be all right. With the addition of Shea McClellan, when the Bears drafted him, he's a, he is a high-motor person. Not a high-motor person, a high-motor player. 
that tries to get after the quarterback. He has not got the weight, not the strength, but he's got the speed on the outside. So if the Bears can get a pass, pass rush this year, the secondary will be all right. We can have an all right secondary. We know what Charles Tillman can do. Tim Jennings has been a he's been a solid point for at the other cornerback position. We don't have to worry about Braids, Erlacher, or Peppers. We don't have to worry about them. They're going to do their jobs. I know they are saying about the safety position, but our safety position right now is okay. Right now, even though we got. Uh, Chris Conte, he's going to be all right. He's going to he started coming along last year. I like the pit that they when the Bears pick Chris Conte, along with the of course we got Craig Stelz. He's a he's an all right uh, viable backup. To if there's going to be any injuries, um, there also is the uncertainty of Major Wright. Uh, we'll see what he does. But we also got the third round draft pick in Brandon Harden. I feel he's going to be a good, solid player for the Bears. I have a feeling he will. So the Bears are going to try to use this mentality of them getting the undisrespect to go to push him full forward to try to get into the playoffs and try to get into the Super Bowl. And, of course, you know the NFL Network loves rivalries. And they explained why Nate Burleson talked about the Chicago Bears. He was talking down on the Chicago Bears, how it's going to be a tough division. But you got to look at the Bears from what they did in this off season. The Bears got better this off season. What did the Bears do? The Bears upgraded their quarterback position in Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell is an insurance policy. If Jay Cutler gets injured, our season, just like last year, would not be in jeopardy. Along, why did they sign Michael Bush? Michael Bush, again, is another insurance policy for Matt Forte. If Matt Forte is going to sign his uh, franchise tender, if he's going to sit out, the Bears got Michael Bush. You got to have two running bats in the NFL to get there. To get to the Super Bowl, you got to have two running bats. You can't have one. You got to have two. And, of course, we upgraded our wide receiver position. We now have two tall wide receivers right now. We traded two third-round pits for Brandon Marshall. That was a hell of a deal by Phil Emery. Along with that, they drafted Alshon Jeffrey. He's going to be a good player for the Bears. The Bears have two tall receivers on end on end. Along with the along with Earl Bennett. Earl Bennett's going to have another Earl Bennett's going to have a good year. Cause you know how Earl Bennett and Jay Cully, they got that connection. They were in Vanderbilt, they were teammates. And, of course, you know the Brandon Marshall and Jay Cutler connection. You know how they did it in Denver. So, Jay Cutler's going to have more control over this offense now than it was when we had Mike Martz. Now, Jay Cutler will be able to audible at the line of scrimmage. And he will make the plays that he knows what he does best. He will go to his strengths. What will make Jay Cutler look good. So, so with all these acquisitions that the Bears got, with the addition of Eric Weems, kick returner, spe uh, kick returner, special teamer, they got him from Atlanta. Of course, they got Blake Constanzo. He's another special team standout. Why do you think the Bears went and got the special teams players? Because we lost Corey Graham. He's a good special teamer. He wanted to go play someplace else. And be playing at the cornerback position. He wanted to leave. The Bears had to fill that void. And they got that with Blake Constanzo. He's a good special teams player. 
And of course, you know about why the Bears. Why did the Bears get Eric Williams? Why did they bring in Devin Thomas? The reason why they brought in those two guys is because Johnny Knotts is not going to be able to probably play this year. So the Bears went and got some more insurance. That's what the Bears did. That's what Phil Emery did. Phil Emery got death at the positions that what the Bears needed. And now that the Bears are now in a good position right now, they, they can do pretty good. We got to go see how the offensive line is going to be. But I feel the offensive line will be all right. Um, as long as they get the ball out of Jay Cutler's hands quickly, that will make the offensive line better in throughout the season. They will be good or better going into the season. If Jay Cutler does three five-step drops, get rid of the ball quick, there shouldn't be any problems. And Jay Cutler's going to probably roll out a lot more. He's good at that. He can throw on the run. He's good. He's a mobile quarterback. Just like Aaron Rodgers. That's what basically uh, NFL teams are looking at quarterbacks. They're looking at strong-armed mobile quarterbacks. Like Jay Culler. He's a strong-armed mobile quarterback. So is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is the same thing. So, anywho... Uh, this video went on long enough. Um, I just wanted to say these things that what the Bears are not getting the respect what they should be getting. That the Bears probably this season is going to probably going to use the mentality of them being the underdog and they're going to go into the games as the underdog and, and try to win the games. If the Bears prove themselves. Gets it to the playoffs. If they'll be able to shut the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. That will be a sight to see. But we'll see what happens with that. So anywho, this is the Game is On 100. I am out. Later.